Hi guys, you are welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Arab the Blog, as you know, and a crypto trader, forex trader. And on this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency trading and forex trading. So this video is a weekly analysis video. We have a, a we have like a program on this channel where we come on the chat every week and talk about what is happening in the cryptocurrency industry and we look for potential trading opportunities for the week so if i tell you something like this ensure you subscribe to my youtube channel and if you want to learn how to trade the cryptocurrency market how to trade the forex market ensure you subscribe too. so this is another edition of our weekly market analysis and what we do here is just look at some uh, crypto assets and look for some potential trading opportunities for the week so in this video i've been analyzing bitcoin ethereum and two or three other cryptocurrencies that we would be looking out to trade for the week and we'll be looking out for some potential opportunities that you might find on them for the week so let's start from bitcoin so for bitcoin i'll be looking at the long term uh plans and also the weekly analysis like the weekly uh trading potentials even though I currently have a trade, I took on Bitcoin, a short trade I took on Bitcoin uh, just like seven hours ago. So I currently have that one, but maybe I will reanalyze that and look at what we can also have on Bitcoin. So for a long time, I was trying to look at the weekly close for Bitcoin. And the weekly close is actually what I was expecting is a bearish candle with a little rejection. The rejection is a little bit long. The rejection is, seems to be like something from, okay, this is, sorry, this is the weekly course, which is bullish and with a little rejection. And this is the, the current uh, week can do, which is starting today, Monday morning. So what you currently have on Bitcoin is a situation whereby the market has been bullish for a few months look at this candle this the bullish movement started from this place this is a bearish candle in august 2023 september was bullish october and this candle formation is what we call the morning star formation this particular candle formation is what we call the morning star and you know whenever you have the morning star according to the rules of technical analysis it is a bullish uh pattern so looking at the market structure, the market structure is, a, is in a clear uptrend. But then, uh, this, the market seems to have hit a major support on the chart. And what's myself and a lot of analysts are expecting is that we're expecting Bitcoin to crash again from this area of value back to maybe somewhere around 35k or 30k, and then the bull market starts. So, this February and March stroke April, we are expecting a retracement on Bitcoin because the bull market has been, the, the, the bullish movement has been on for a long time and we are expecting a retracement very soon. So this is my long term bias on Bitcoin and even the short term bias is also a short and this is a clear signal for a short. This part, the, the market hit this uh, high of 48,000 to almost 49,000 in January and it has just happened again in February and this has formed a double top but the double top will only be visible on the daily time frame yeah, so let's look at let's look at this this seems to be a double top this is a top here right this is another top here on the daily time frame and you know when you see something like this on the daily time frame it's actually a strong indication so my overall bias on bitcoin is a short yeah it's a neckline for those that trade double top so if you if you want to trade this double top uh you can just be patient for the market to come back to this area and break the neckline and you trade it well that is going to take a very long time you know bitcoin movement Bitcoin does a lot of consolidation movement up and down before the actual big movement. But then I'm looking at the situation whereby I could short Bitcoin from this area, from this uh, uh, 
area of 48,000. Sorry, this is, I, I picked a long, uh, so I'm looking at the situation whereby I could short Bitcoin from this place back to around 44K. Yeah, I'm looking at potential short, even though I'm not going to be taking the short on a daily time frame, actually. So I'm looking at something like this. But I'll be doing that on the lower time frame. So let's look at it. Let's go to the lower time frame and look for scenarios that could give us a short entry for Bitcoin. So looking at this lower time frame, you would see the same long week rejection can do. So I'll be taking a long, a short trade on Bitcoin. If I get a little consolidation, if I could get a little consolidation, a little more consolidation, if I could get a little consolidation around this area, something like this, and then a, a candle that indicates the market is about to short. So if that happens, I'll be placing a short for Bitcoin around this area, and that will be my trade for Bitcoin for the week. I'm taking a short for Bitcoin around that area. Uh, I'll be looking at my stop loss being around there. And then take profit would be around 44k. That's going to be a true ratio one risk to reward. Even though I have, I, like I said, I currently have a trade on Bitcoin. Let me just, yeah. I currently have a trade on Bitcoin. But then I'm looking at the situation whereby sometimes, you know, the market might just read a liquidity and uh, before it starts shorting. So I will expect a little bit of consolidation around this area of value. And then after that, I'll be taking another shot for Bitcoin. So overall bias on Bitcoin is short. And the reason being that the market has hit a double top. And apart from the double top pattern, you see that the market is an uptrend. The market is in a clear uptrend, but then when market got to this place, this area, there was a sharp rejection back to 39k. And the market has rallied around back to that area, and what we are seeing again is a rejection. So, if this rejection stands twice, then the long term perspective is having Bitcoin come back to this place, and then if it breaks this neckline, then we are coming right back to. 34k as the next major area of value. A lot of uh, gaps around it that must be filled. And after that, for the long term, we are coming to 28k to 30k, somewhere around there. So, but then for the week, this is exactly what I want to be doing. I want to be looking for a scenario where the market will consolidate a little bit, you know, how Bitcoin moves, and then I will be shortened. So, Let's look at Ethereum. Let's look at Ethereum. Let's look at Ethereum. Let's let's look at the Ethereum is you know Ethereum pretty much follows Bitcoin pattern a lot. Ethereum and Bitcoin seems to be like a twin, and their pattern, their movement always look the same. You can see Ethereum movement. This is the signal, the long signal we had on Ethereum last year in August on the monthly time frame. This Long with long with rejection, then this something like seems like a dodgy candle, then this bullish movement, and then the Ethereum has been bullish, reached a high at this area of resistance, which is a strong area of resistance. You can call it support or resistance, resistance to support any of it. It's an area of resistance actually. Then the market is trying to move back to this area, but it has not reached it. So Let's look more at so for Ethereum. I the market is likely still going to be bullish, and the market might still get back to this twenty-seven thousand area. Not exactly that price, but that, that area. The reason why I think this is that even though the market is still bullish, and I see this candle, this particular candle formation, which is like. Uh, morning star formation which is a bullish candle whether it is found at the beginning of the trend or even at the middle of the trend so Ethereum might still 
Ethereum might still move up to this uh, area, which might take a few days or a few weeks. But for the week, let's look at what we will be having on Ethereum for the week. So for Ethereum, I will not be taking a long trade on Ethereum. I'll be taking a short trade, mid, like a short term trade for the week. The reason why I might be taking the short trade is because for Ethereum to go to this area, there might be a little retracement back to this area of demand. This is a, a strong area of demand for Ethereum in the short period, in the short term. This is a strong area of demand for Ethereum for the short term. So I'll be looking for a scenario whereby I will short the market, I'll short the market back to this area of demand before the market rally up again and maybe hit this area of value back if it's going to do that. So that is my scenario for Ethereum. So Ethereum is probably uh, it's probably looking for trying to short yeah, because we have a little bit of rejection, something that looked like a try spike. Here, yeah. the market went up, rejected. We had this 50-50 candle. Then we had this rejection again and then another rejection. So Ethereum is in for a short, for a short term trade for the week. We might be shorting Ethereum from somewhere around here. Our stop loss would be just up here. And it's going to be our target is going to be here. So let's just drag this. Somewhere around here would be our target for Ethereum. So that is what I'm in for Ethereum for the week. It's going to be a short, in my own opinion. But you know, there are no 50-50, there are no 100 percent market. So but the indications I'm seeing here is a short indication for Ethereum. So you might just like try and find an entry on a on a uh, on a lower time frame. This is a four hour for Ethereum. The four hour for Ethereum is showing something like a mid term double bottom, double top rather, like I can see. So what I'll be just looking at is a yeah, perfect. So I can just pull, pull out my trend line on Ethereum. Yeah, this is my trend line on Ethereum. So it will be perfectly drawn this way actually. This is the perfect way to draw this, unless I want to catch it this way. But it's, when you draw a trend line, it's better you draw it and it has a lot of uh, touches on the chart. So, fine. We have that. The market has broken that. Then we have another area of support around there. Right? So, I'm waiting for Ethereum to break this level. Like a scenario, something like this. Breaking this level. This is my scenario for trading Ethereum for the week. So, I'll be looking at a situation where Ethereum will break this level. If you do a retest or give me a strong bearish pattern, then I'll be shorting, targeting this place. So that's my scenario for trading Ethereum for the week. So something like this. But if that does not happen, that means that we have a bullish connection pattern. You know, you know how I do my analysis is that I look at the long term trend and I look for, I look at the the trading opportunities inside the long term trend. So that is that for Ethereum. Ethereum is still going to be bullish for some time, but then we are likely going to be having a bearish movement inside that bullish movement. If we have a clear breakout of this area of value or this neckline of um, double top. So now let's move to something different. Let's look for, let's look at, uh, let's look at, at that. Then let's look at Mana and then we call it a, a week. So, uh, looking at ADA, let's, let's go to the data frame for ADA and look at what is happening on the market. This was my some of my uh, predictions for, on ADA since January. The market was ranging at this point, and I predicted that. I analyzed it, and I predicted that the market was going to crash here, go up again, and then crash back to this area of demand. So, 
because this is a very strong area of demand and ethereum uh sorry other is in is within this area what i want wanting to be to be doing is to long actually because it's actually in a clear uptrend i want to be long in this market but then i'll be waiting for a scenario where the market would come back to my buy area this is my buy area so i will not be taking this short you know the market i want the market to come back to my buy before i buy and target somewhere around here for the week so if this happens within today monday tomorrow tuesday i will buy around this place not exactly at this line but then somewhere around this place because when i analyze the market i look at areas of value i look at them as a zone not a particular line or not a particular price so if the market comes back to this zone i'll be buying but then like i said when i say i'll be buying it doesn't mean automatically when it comes to that place i'll be buying i look for opportunities to buy i look for scenarios that would give me the buy because that is how to trade price action price action is not you don't come to the market and you don't nobody has 100 percent uh, certainty of what is going to happen in the market nobody the market is not the market is perfect but your analysis will never be perfect at every time so i'm looking for scenarios to give me the buy of the scenarios am i looking am i be looking at is the market coming into this zone and giving me a bullish engulfing bullish engulfing pattern right inside this zone something like this actually something like this so if market come back to this one and something like this i'll be buying for the week so i might be holding for two three days you know so then let's look at mana let's look at mana let's look at mana mana is one of the coins that gave us a lot of money in the last bull market but uh, since 2022 it has been ranging around this zone since 2022 but then i guess next bull run which is likely going to start in a few months we would have a situation where mana is going to blow up again and maybe come to like maybe 12 dollar 15 dollar and above but then for the short term the short term trade let's look at what we could have for the week all right let me get rid of this box so looking at mana so looking at mana the market has been short from this area then we are at a demand zone yeah we are at a demand zone so I will only be trading this area, this area of value, because I cannot enter a, a long trade here. The market has started moving already. And I cannot enter a short trade. It's going to be the only short trade some anybody can enter here is this cap trade. Yeah. Back to this area of value. So I'll be looking for a, a movement back to this area of value also from mana for mana before I could take a trade or maybe a break of this area of support but then i don't see a, a break of this support anytime soon unless bitcoin market does so maybe massive crashing then that might happen so that is basically my scenario for trading for the week i'll be looking more at bitcoin and ethereum because of the liquidity that has been in the bitcoin and ethereum market over the past few weeks so i'll be looking to trade more of bitcoin and ethereum for this week and then maybe mana and other that i just analyzed so if you enjoyed this video ensure you subscribe to the channel hit the like button and also if you have a particular coin that you would like me to come and analyze here every week let me know in the comment section and if you like i have a particular topic on crypto or even forex that you have some difficulties understanding them let me know in the comment section and i'll make a video 
in it over time. So I'll see you next week for another edition.